Tonight, on NXT TakeOver 25, Predictions of Doom. Of Doom? We have the Undisputed Era's Roderick Strong facing off with the King of Bros, Matt Riddle. Velveteen Dream vs. Tyler Breeze for the North American Championship. And the NXT Tag Titles are up for grabs, but who'll get the prize? Will it be only Logan and Danny Burch? The Street Profits! Will this era be undisputed by seeing Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish take the pin? Or oh, will it be the Forgotten Sons? Let's hope not. Shayna Baszler versus Io Shirai for the NXT Women's Championship. And for the main event, Johnny Gargano fights to keep his championship from the hands of the Undisputed Era's Adam Cole, baby! baby. Who wins? Who loses? Let's get in to the nitty gritty. Yep. All right. Been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Clarification, by the way, it's actually a ladder match for the NXT uh, tag titles. But don't be shocked because they switched the whole idea of an elimination match on Raw. So who the fuck knows they can make it a pinfall? Oh, I didn't know that. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Let's <laughs> roll with it. Let's roll with it. Come on. WWE changes things all the time. Right? So we should clarify. Era. <laughs> Let's clarify here in the beginning. These are predictions. You will be on your way to Scotland by the time this show is going on. Yes. So I'll be reviewing it. Or maybe landing in Scotland. Who knows? <laughs> it's hard to tell what the time difference. So the whole Stay point is... Ahead. Is it? Yeah. The whole point of this is we will be... It's like we're doing these predictions. We will be reviewing SmackDown tonight. And then you get me probably completely unhinged for about the next two weeks on reviews. But hopefully NXT TakeOver is all right. I think it will be. It's so, NXT TakeOver. Well, it, you know. it, the least hype TakeOver, to be fair, they've had to juggle this around a lot. Mm -hmm. Because they were going to have it before Backlash. And they canceled it. They made stomping grounds. Yeah. But, yeah, let's get into these matches. We have, as you said, Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. Yes, and I've got the original King of Bros, Matt Riddle. It's Matt Riddle. It's got to be. I mean, with the story they're telling. It's got to be, bro. <laughs> it's got to be. It's only got to be the shoes, the whole, you know, Michael Jordan thing. No, it's it's got to be Riddle, just with the way they're telling it. Like, Roderick Strong's actually going to be, you know, uh, taken out of the Undisputed Era at some point. Yeah. Then your idea actually was... Oh, yes. Uh, during the match, uh, Roger Strong is struggling for a victory, so Adam Cole, you know, since he's got a match later on, he could take some time to recover if he gets a few hits. Um, comes down to help Roger Strong, goes to hit a super kick, but Riddle throws Roger Strong in front of him, kicks Roger Strong, or hits him in some way, and this causes some conflict that'll come into play later. It will. This, but yeah, it's gotta be Riddle. It's gotta be Matt Riddle. Yeah. But then we go with Velveteen Dream defending the North American Championship against Tyler Breeze, and who do you have and why? Velveteen Dream. It, it's gotta be. R.E.A.M. Dream. It's gotta be him. Hopefully doing less of the patriotic stuff like he did on recent NXT. That was funny, though. Yes. That was pretty funny before Dominic Dijakovic got an injury. So yeah, Tyler Breeze got called uh, up to NXT. Mm hmm. It's pretty much a promotion at this point because he wasn't featured on TV at all. Right. It just, it's got to be Velveteen. I got nothing against Tyler. Mm -hmm. The damage will be minimized a little bit in NXT, but I think at this point he is essentially going to just be the guy that gets some victories and then puts a lot of people over. Which I is, think he'd be fine with being enhancement yeah. talent as long as he's actually just featured. True. This is also basically what he did in NXT pretty much from about... His entire run. I yeah. mean, he won a few matches, had great performances, and then was called up, and then they had Tyler Breeze and Ziggler, and that meant nothing. But Dream's got to retain the title. Yep. Um, I don't know who he's going to drop it to at TakeOver Brooklyn, but who knows? Or not Brooklyn. I think it's TakeOver LA. I think they're in LA this uh, for SummerSlam. Uh, or Toronto. I think it's Toronto, actually. But the whole point is, <laughs> we get now to... If it's in Toronto, I know a couple of people might be interested in going. Oh, yeah. Uh, we then get Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch versus the Merrill Street Profits, as I yeah. call them. Versus the Undisputed Era's uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Yep. Versus the Forgotten Sons and the blandest fucking gimmick in a while. His name is Jackson Riker. That's the edgiest name I've ever heard since Edge Maverick. Edge Maverick. 
uh, which is Wesley Blake, by the way, and Steve Cutler? Steve Cutler. Yes. And it's a ladder match for the vacant NXT Tag Championships, but don't, again, be surprised if they change the rules because they do that all the goddamn time. Well, to be fair, this isn't the main roster. This this is true. They so, actually care about their, their work, the creative team. They Except they put Road Dog in the NXT uh, creative team recently. They actually care about their work, the creative <laughs> team does. <laughs> And who do we At have? At least they're not going off to wrestle in a vibrant and progressive country. No, oh, come on, Chris. They're doing great things in Saudi Arabia. So, um, it's the Forgotten Sons. Yeah. Because. That's the way the build's going. And yeah. It, they're getting heat. I don't, they're I, getting reactions. <laughs> technically. I mean, STDs also get reactions. That's not necessarily the best thing. But it's going to be them. Right. I just... It, Jackson Riker, who... I have nothing against any of the Forgotten Sons. They're all great athletes. Cutler is. Blake's a tremendous tag team wrestler. Riker was vastly underutilized for a good portion of his uh, TNA, now Impact Wrestling, run. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's got to be the Forgotten Sons, though. Because this doesn't count as a title change. There's only, in my opinion, one... Or no, there's two title changes I think that are going to happen. We only differ on one match, which is easy to do with these... But here we go with the women's match. Shayna Baszler, the NXT Women's Champion. Versus the <clears throat> Miss Adorableness, Io Shirai. Io Shirai, holding out that big stick and whipping a bunch of women. Also has a great Tiger Fit kick. She does. She does have that. Uh, who do we... Io Shirai. Io. Yeah. For the love uh, of God. I, I think they're going to give Io a run with it to see what kind of reaction they get from the crowd. Um, but if it fails, they may just put it back on Shayna. The thing is, is I think Shayna is getting called up sooner than later. And that was going to be following her. Yeah, the dead weight that's with her. Yeah, but, I, mean, I'm I mean, I'm sure they'll fit in right on Raw's lower card. <laughs> they will, which the is... The dead weight. <laughs> and that's sad because there's plenty of great women on, you know, on Raw. They just aren't being used at all. Yeah. There's folks in on Becky and um, Lacey, but Io Shirai just... For the love of God, don't have Io lose to Shayna. Mm -hmm. Only because... And this is nothing against Shayna. Shayna is doing the best she can. She's still not that great on promos, but she's good in the ring. And for her age and for her style, she could wrestle for a number of years. Yeah. You said just the same in your reviews and other takeover stuff we've done. But yes, Io has to win. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't, it's going to pretty much kill her right there. Oh, no. It's going to kill her temporarily. She's only mostly dead. Yeah, there's o there's <laughs> there's only so many women they haven't pretty much crushed yeah. by this overbooking and Duke and Shafir being. I'm sorry, but I have seen dead zebras that can move better than them. Mm -hmm. They are terrible, and they aren't going to get any better. So then we get the main event. Yes, it's got to be the main event. Yes, Johnny Gargano defending his NXT Championship against Adam Cole. Mm -hmm. Who do you have and why? Because it is Johnny Gargano's first title, like, takeover title defense. I feel he's going to win this one. Um, and why? I'm not doing that. But, uh, I think earlier what I was saying with uh, Adam Cole trying to interfere and help Roderick Strong, actually hitting Roderick Strong, Roderick's going to take this as a betrayal and go in and interfere in the match. Um... Johnny Gargano retains regardless of whether or not he wins, I'd say. But I, I think Johnny Gargano's still going to win this one. That betrayal is going to cost <coughs> Roderick Strong being part of the Undisputed Era. I have Adam Cole because I think that this title reign of Gargano is going to be short-lived. Hmm. Now, I wouldn't be against you being right and Gargano and Gargano like you know retaining. I think that'd yeah. be a great idea. It'd be a great thing for him to... Do this, but I also think the Undisputed Oof. Era are getting called up sooner than later. Probably after SummerSlam. So they can lose their first match like Sandy did. Remember Sandy? Who? Exactly. And remember the Forgotten Sons? We forgot about them. No. Who? <coughs> <laughs> I think there's going to be a big old schmoz here. I think it's going to be, oh be a big old, yeah, big old, big old fat schmoz. And we're going to get some interference. The referee, there's going to be ref bumps. It's going to be like chaos. It's, there's going to be dusty finishes or a dusty finish, but I think Adam Cole is going to uh, win the title. Now, whether they put it right back on Gargano at the next takeover, now like a dusty finish, does that mean we're not talking about the challenger? 
Kid, don't talk about the challenge. Go do it again. Oh. Dusty had to have been proud of Cody and Dustin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I have Adam Cole. That's the only match we differ, differ on. Yep. But let us know what you think in the comments. Yes, and hit like and dislike and hit subscribe. Yeah, do that. By the way, thanks for getting us to nearly 160,000 views as of the recording of this. Appreciate maybe, you. <clears throat> yeah, maybe by the time TakeOver is done, maybe by the time we get to Super Showdown, we will be at 160,000 views. So, yeah, you are not going to be back on any more videos besides the SmackDown review until... Yes. Until... For like two weeks. Yeah. Like for about the 17th or something like that. Whatever the Raw is. The... Uh, 14th. Coming back on 14th, 15th. Yeah, 17th. 17th, yeah. It. So there we go. Anyway, agree, disagree. And you think all them concussions are hampering you. I, I mean, do. they are, but... <laughs> they are definitely hampering uh, me. But yeah. Tune in tonight for the SmackDown Live review. Or if you're watching this at a later date, please go back and watch our SmackDown Live review from tonight. Yes, do that. Time warp again.